click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the physical properties of our minds and now we are going to talk about the basicity of our minds. So what is the basicity of our minds and what is the difference between the basicity of primary, secondary and tertiary mind? This is what we are going to cover in this topic. So now let's get started. So friends, if we consider an amine, for example, if I am considering the primary amine, that is R NH2. We totally understand that is this nitrogen consists of lone pair of electron, whether it would be primary, secondary or tertiary, it will consist of lone pair of electron. And that's the reason that this is the one that has a capacity to give this lone pair of electrons to the other compounds and that's the reason it is acting like a Lewis base. So in fact if we talk about the other theories like Laurie Proustrup theory so this two lone pair of electrons can be easily donated to the proton that is H plus ion and that's the reason even according to the Laurie Proustrup it is called to be a base. So based on this theories this amines are basic in nature. So now let me give you a small example related to that how basically this amines are basic in nature. So friends as I have discussed that is this amines are basic in nature. So for example let me introduce a reaction that is RNH2 which consists of lone pair of electrons and let me introduce this amine with an HCl or with a strong acid like HCl. So in the case the product that is being formed is nothing but R NH3 where the nitrogen will acquire positive charge and this is Cl minus. So this is the product that is being formed and this is known as alkyl ammonium chloride. So that's the reason a base has been reacted with an acid so as to form a salt. Suppose if we have a mixture of an amine and a non-basic organic compound, so so as to regenerate or so as to obtain this amine back, so what we can do is we can take this product that is what we have got and in this case basically we will add NaOH that is a base, a strong base. So in this case we could get that is RNH2 along with that of since we have introduced NaOH along with that of obviously it will react with the other parts so as to get that is H2 as the byproduct along with that of that is NaCl as a byproduct. So this is how basically we can regenerate the base back. So this indicates that is this is another method that is to separate the two compounds that is one of them it would be amine and suppose if the other one is non-basic organic compound so we can differentiate or we can separate these two compounds. So this was related to the basicity of this amine. And now let me talk about the other properties also like what is the difference between the basicity of secondary, primary as well as tertiary amine. So this is what I'm going to talk about. So friends suppose if we have considered a tertiary amine and that is nothing but R N. This is tertiary amine which consists of lone pair of electron or nitrogen atom. So, so as to increase the electronegativity, obviously this three R groups or this alkyl groups are being attached to the nitrogen atom and they have a positive inductive effect and that's the reason that the negative charge or the density of the negative charge that is on the nitrogen obviously it will increase and that will make the tertiary amine more basic in nature. And suppose if I am talking about the secondary amine that is this is a structure that I am considering or the general formula where we can find that is two alkyl groups are being attached. So that's the reason that this will have a basic property also but it will be less than that of the tertiary one. And if you talk about that is the primary one, it will consist of only one alkyl group that is associated with this nitrogen atom and thereby obviously we can understand that this will be in fact less basic compared to that of secondary one. and Talking about the last one that is suppose if we talk about ammonia. So ammonia is found to be very much less basic compared to that of primary, secondary and tertiary amine. So this is a theory that is we could understand that is the tertiary alkyl amine is more basic in nature. But in fact it has been found that is the secondary amine is more basic in nature compared to that of the tertiary amine and compared to that of the primary amine and then we could say ammonia. The reason behind that is the secondary amine is more basic in nature. The reason behind is steric hindrance and the solvation. We understand that is this R or this three bulkier groups, this three alkyl groups are 
very much bulkier and that's the reason that because of the steric hindrance the hcl or any kind of acid would not be associated with this nitrogen atom and that's the reason that the reaction of the tertiary alkyl amine with acid it is less and making this tertiary amine to be less basic compared to that of the secondary amine in this case the secondary amine it consists of two alkyl groups but in fact the geometry as well as the steric hindrance if we talk about so the steric hindrance is found to be less compared to that of the tertiary alkyl amine and that's the reason that it is very much reactive to the hcl or it is very much reactive to the acid that makes the secondary amine to be more reactive or to be more basic in nature compared to that of the tertiary and meanwhile the primary is very much less basic compared to that of the other two and if you talk about the nitrogen obviously since it doesn't consist of an alkyl group or since it doesn't have any group that has a positive inductive effect so that's the reason it is comparatively less basic compared to that of the other one so yes this was nothing but the basicity of amines that is what i want to talk about so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to your channel thank you so much